Hey there folks, this is Goonie XI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is episode 10. What we did in the last episode was we ended little Shiva's life because she turned into an evil mutant dog. So, in, <laughs> in this episode, the police station has been saved and we're going to find out what's coming next. Day 4 is pretty much just like day 1 to 3, but, you know, expanding the story a little bit, getting us to a new location completely so it won't be like the police station like last time it'll be like um an entirely new dungeon you know it's gonna be fun because i love the dungeon in this game and you can't have a horror game without a location like this in the game and you'll see exactly what i mean when we get to it <laughs> it's fun it's fun is there no music or is it just me no it's no music okay Oh, there's music. All right, let me turn that down. Better snooping around the criminal ID lab on the third floor. Right, okay, that's where we'll go then. That's annoying. <clears throat> so, Conception, the name of this day, and it's called that... Probably not quite for the reason you're thinking of. <laughs> Ooh. It's sort of... I'm trying to get the music right, I'm sorry, folks. Right, there we go. It's sort of um, how Eve is gonna evolve a little bit. Uh, I think, I think that's what it's all about. Anyway, we'll find out as we go along, I suppose. This is sort of the first day that I've sort of, sort of forgotten a little bit. I can remember the story, but I can't remember what the boss is or a lot of the ways that we have to go in the dungeon. But don't worry, if I do go completely the wrong way, which is pretty unlikely considering this game is pretty linear. But if I do happen to go the wrong way, then I'll just cut it out, you know, that's all. Do you need to keep going up? I think it's a store actually, isn't it? I still can't get, you, get used to the police station, even though we've been here for so long. Nope, it's the next one up. I knew that would happen. I knew it. Look, come on, loading times. Loading times are pretty bad on the PS1. I completely forgot about all that. It's not so bad. I mean, there's some games on the PS3 which are a hell of a lot worse loading-wise, I think. Just because they have so much to load up. Come on, open the door. But... I don't know, it's okay. You can put up with it and everything. Mouse, move. Move you. Oh. <laughs> Thought you'd be here. How did you guess? This kind of place makes me think more clearly. A lab sort of environment for a scientist. Makes sense. Can we heal up? <laughs> we don't need it, but can we? What I want to know is why Eve didn't show herself this time. I felt her presence here, but as soon as we arrived, she was gone. Could be a distraction. Distraction? What for? Yeah, so she could be going off and destroying something else while she wanted us to be here, out of the way. Is there a sperm bank or a hospital that conducts artificial insemination nearby? A sperm bank? Right, so this is where the term conception comes into the game. Where Eve is going to try and get some sperm from the sperm bank or the hospital, whichever one we end up, end up going to. And she's going to use the sperm to... Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to go too far into it because we haven't actually heard about it yet. So what she's going to use the sperm for, who knows? What is that white stuff used for? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You captain for now, remember? You gotta look after the precinct. Oh, Alright, here, take this then. Ooh, what's he giving us? Ammo plus 30. Oh, very nice. We'll be needing that. Day 5 is where ammo is gonna start running low a lot. At least it did for me. I always used to run out on day 5, so. Day 4 should be okay. Should be okay. Right, so next up is the hospital. This is where she's gonna try and get her sperm. And it's where we're going to have to stop her. As you can see, there's not going to be a whole episode focused on talking this time around. Like with days two and three. Which is definitely a good thing. I, I don't like too much talking in RPGs, which might sound strange. But I don't like it too much at one time, you know. I like to have a dungeon in between loads of talking. Like in Final Fantasy VII, there's the big cloud scene in... Is it Calm? I think it's Calm. And in Final Fantasy IX, there's the Limblum scenes, where you're talking for 
a good hour, you know, just random crap, not always important, but it's just there to make the player get more engrossed into the story, I guess, but I just don't like it too much. I don't mind like 10 minutes of talk in 15 minutes. Like I've been playing Shadow Hearts at the moment, it's the first time I've played through it, and it's there's loads of talking, loads of talking, and it's pretty much constant. But then the fights are really fun, so it sort of makes up for it. I don't know, I don't know what I think about it all, about too much dialogue. Right, okay, here we come. St. Francis Hospital. I hope I didn't go through all that text too quick, by the way. Hmm. I don't know. Are you ready, folks? Are you ready? Here it is. This hospital. Yes. This is quite possibly the most Christmassy day of the lot, because hospitals, they need to be decorated Christmassy, don't they? To to cheer up the patients and make them feel more at home. So yeah, I... I inventory is full. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> let's sort that out then. Can't believe our inventory is full before even going in here. Oh, that's why. If I can, I'm gonna go back to the police station now and get rid of some keys. Oh, you know, you won't have to see it or anything. Um, what should we get rid of? I don't know. Trading card, we're gonna keep that so I can show you what to do with it. We'll get rid of a medicine too. There we go. Alright, take this. This is the second of these charms that we've had from Maedi. Maedi? I, uh, whatever. <laughs> and I still have no idea what, what they're for, if they matter. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna have a look, see if we can head back to the police station to sort out the inventory. We can! Okay. <clears throat> okay, folks, I wanted to show you the trading card thing, so I've sorted out all the equipment and stored away all the key items and everything. So let's use the, let's use this on the M92, which adds a slot. So that's all it does. It's not brilliant. It's pretty much just like the, what was it called? The mod cards at the start? The mod submits? No, wh whatever, whatever we got from the chief or the captain of the police. Here we go, nothing to it. So that's all that does, literally. Let's check out the collection, he doesn't have one. I'm assuming that's for the new game plus which you get, which is actually called EX game or something like that. So, I'll see you back at the hospital. Here we go then folks, it's time to enter and... Ooh, has he got anything else to say before we go in? Of course we're safe, we haven't been in yet. <laughs> Anyways, let's go in the hospital. Oh, okay. This place is very story based. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be loads of text. It's, you know, half and half, maybe. A tool. I'm just going to put that back. I mean, you know why I like with tools. I don't particularly like using them. And you don't need to to get through the game, either. Unless you're going for the EX mode tower, which is added. Now, that's an interesting thing. The tower on the extra game mode is like 50 floors of enemies. So I've been told. I've never done this before. And it's, yeah, it's just full of enemies with a boss at the end, maybe. I don't know, I've never done it, but, you know. Okay, which way should we go? we got to go this way first. I'm pretty sure of it. Actually, I'm certain. <laughs> which is a good start. It's a good start, we know where to go. Huh? It's a girl again! I think it's meant to be us. Maya? Or is it just my reflection? Oh. Can we go through? Nope, we can't go through until we find... A card key, a green card key. So we're gonna have to go in the elevator for now. It doesn't really matter which button you press, you're still always getting the same elevator, I think. So I sat on down. In situation situations situations like this, you know you should never use elevators, but there were no stairs! There are no bloody stairs, what are you meant to do? But then again, there's a hospital near me. It doesn't have stairs right by the elevators, it's like the other side of the building. Which is really stupid. They should be right next to each other. So that if there are no elevators available, you can just go on down. Or if the elevators are full, you know. Um. Game? Right, okay. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. 
Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Eve's here. The power. Okay, we thought this place was going to be safe, but it looked safe anyway. There was plenty of light, no enemies coming along. But now Eve has changed all that. She's changed the environment completely. There's no electricity, so we can't even use the card keys, even if we what, if we even if we find the green card key, you know. So we're gonna have to find the green card key and find another way up, or turn the power back on if we possibly can. Okay, so there's that. Couple of good items down here, if if you can find them, you know, really good optional items. Autopsy room, the door is locked. We'll need to try and remember that. Come back down this way first. This is what I did anyway, and it seemed to be a good way. Hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> yeah, we're not using the stairs. So it looks like there are stairs, we just couldn't see where they were exactly. I want to have a look around, sir. Any anything? No. But yeah, that's a good thing to happen. You'll see why later on. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Can't go in the autopsy room. We'll try this room, shall we? A couple of the doors around you to connect to each other and just come full circle to buy you, so it's no worry about going the wrong way or anything. Battle come Ooh, wait there. Flashy flashy. We need to find these flashy flashies because they're key items that we definitely need. Fuse number one. I think there are three fuses from what I remember. If there are any more, I do apologise, but I think there's three. What's your ammo plus thirty? Amazing! <laughs> well it is. A uh, new grenade launcher. I think we'll hang on to that. Okay, battle, our first battle of the hospital. The dungeon ain't gonna be that long. But new enemies. These guys are not too bad. You don't need to worry too much about them. Shit, I keep pressing triangle to cancel because I've been playing Shadow Heart. Just know that they Oh shit, the Just know that they have a lot of health. And uh, yeah, rangy attacks. You've seen everything that you need to worry about with them. Ooh, that was, a, that was a good hit there, mate. That was a good hit. Going on. There we go. Again, a wee bit of experience from him, but not a whole lot. Some ammo, we need to die. And the poison is gone because we finished the battle. So, I think we might as well heal up a little bit. Why not? And carry on. That's our room fully done. We've got the clues that we need, got the couple of items. Where's next? Oh, okay, we needed to come this way. May I wait? It's me. Why are you dressed in those clothes? You must be cold. They look sort of like hospital clothes, don't they? Like a hospital gown. I want to come down this way to show you where it leads back to. And it's by you. Can we go left from by you? No, okay. So, we've been everywhere we can possibly go in this hospital so far. Might as well carry on. I don't quite... Ooh. Okay, new enemy again. I don't know how we ended up back here when we went through the exact same door as we came from. Another rangy enemy. So maybe the club would be a good weapon for this area. You know, the club too. This enemy seems to have more health than the other two little blobs. But once we get... Towards the end of this dungeon, we'll be doing more damage and everything, so that's fine. We've got nearly 400 ammo, but once you get to day 5, day 5 is a long day, so you're going to need all this ammo. It's not like we got too much for where we're at, you know. Oh shit. I can't quite get used to that last little quick turn that they do before they attack, you know. Oh well. Medicine 2 and ammo. I got rid of a bit of medicine too when we went back to the police station. I just thought it would be best. Right, let's have a little look around this room, shall we? See what's here. If anything. No, I, I don't know. Can we pull back the curtains? That reminds me of a song, but I can't really remember what it was. Okay. Right. Let's go back here. There's something important back here from what I remember. Uh, safe point, that's good. Medicine 3, that's amazing. Autopsy key, I think we know where to use that. Anything else? Another... It's a box, but no, nothing. Okay, I'm going to save. Because I don't want to go through all this again, even if we haven't done much. I don't know how long this episode has been now. Do you? I don't know. Nope, other one. 
We haven't quite leveled up yet because the XP in this place ain't that good really. It's not brilliant anyway. Can we go down? Yep, good. Oh, where do we end up now? Right, so we need a blue card key for that, but first of all we want to come back this way. And this is where we end up, where we saw Maya. So, why going through the double doors that we just went through led to such a different location is beyond me. I really have no idea. But anyway, let's go and use this autopsy key. See what we get in the room. Door unlocked. Seems this key is no longer useful, I'll discard it. Why they didn't do that for the keys that we've already used throughout the game, I don't know. They just suddenly started bringing in the concept now, halfway through the game, you know? Quite strange. It's definitely summit in here. Won't be able to come in here otherwise. It's a dead body. Oh. That was pretty epic. We got two meds and twos from the battle as well as a bit of ammo. Only six ammo, right? There's no nothing to write home about, but you know, it's pretty good. Offense plus two, let's take our attack power up then. Oh, I really wish I could use the directional buttons, but never mind. Oh, oh I haven't played this game for so long. Over Christmas I've just left it, you know. I had a bit of a backlog to upload, so I just left it. Never good. Okay, that was worth coming in here for, but I think... Yeah, another chest chest. A tool. Oh, okay, we'll take it with us until we need to get rid of some items. Next room. Ooh, I'm glad there's no, like, loading screens where the doors are opening, like in Resident Evil or... Yeah, Resident Evil. Oh, a new enemy. I do apologise, guys. <laughs> I just realised the rat, the ratish thing was a new enemy. Look out for the fireballs that you just saw that I didn't talk about. <laughs> but look out for them. Once you start shooting it, it's pretty easy to avoid, but they do home in on you a little bit. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. That's the one. They seem to have quite a bit of health, but it, nah, they're not too bad. Come on, come on, ratty thing. There we go. Level up. We're up on level 19. Stats went up. Loads of ammo and a medicine too. Not loads of ammo, but some. You know what I mean. How many bonus points have we got now? I think we might as well have a look. 218. Oh, I might as well use some. Some more active time would be nice. Um, and a bit of amp item capacity. It's good. To upgrade your weapons as well while you're doing this, but I haven't been because I didn't do it on my last playthrough and it didn't cause me many problems until towards the end, so we'll use bonus points on later weapons, I think. I think that's the best way to go about it. A be vest, strong against status attacks. I'm not sure if the actual stats of it are much good though. No, they're not. So I think we're gonna leave it for now. Just for now. There's something else in this room, I know there is. Something important. There it is. This is fuse number two. There's only one way that we haven't really been now that we need to go to. And that's where we saw Maya running off to without the car key needed. So we'll head back there. Actually, I'm going to end the episode here. And then in the next episode, we'll check out what lies beyond that door where we saw it last time. See you in a bit, folks.